Okay, welcome back. In the last video, we got some animations into Unreal Engine from Mixamo, but they use different skeletons than Bellica's skeleton, so we need to retarget them. Now, last time we did retargeting, we set up something called a rig, which contains skeleton information. And if you recall, when we had Bellica assigned to a rig, we used something called a humanoid rig. So I'm over here in Paragon, Lieutenant Bellica, Characters, Heroes, Bellica, Meshes, and here is the Bellica Skeleton. I'm going to double click on that, and you'll see here under the Retarget Manager in Setup Rig, the Select Rig has Humanoid selected. And if you recall, there are Source and Target Bones, and for Bellica, she just happens to have all the same bone structure and bone names as the humanoid rig because the humanoid rig is based on the unreal engine skeleton that's the skeleton that you see the unreal engine mannequin using and bellica uses the same skeleton structure so she can use the humanoid rig now we need to use this humanoid rig with our new skeleton from mixamo so if we go up to our character slash animations slash Mixamo character folder where we imported the skin and the skeleton that came with our Mixamo animation. You'll see that the Mixamo animation uses this crouching turn 90 right skeleton. Double click on that and here we see our skeleton which uses this zombie mesh that I downloaded along with the turn animation. We need to assign this skeleton to use that same humanoid rig. So here in the retarget manager, down here in setup rig, for select rig, we can click the drop down and select humanoid rig. Now with Bellica, this was easy because Bellica's skeletal structure matched the humanoid rig. But the Mixamo skeleton is a little bit different. It has a different hierarchy with different bone names. If you click on the skeleton tree, you'll see that it has all different bone names for all the bones. Now, if I take this tab and undock this window and just make it float standalone here like this, we can take a look at this skeleton alongside Bellica's. So I'm going to scroll down and go into the Bellica meshes folder and open her skeleton. I'm going to undock it so we can see the skeletons side by side. Now in the Bellica skeleton, I'm going to click the skeleton tree and you'll see that here the, the bones, the structure is similar, but the names are different. You'll see that uh, Bellica has a root bone, which is down here at the bottom between her legs. Now here in the crouching turn 90 right in the Mixamo skeleton, the highest bone in the hierarchy is the hips. And that's up here, well, at the hips, not down here between his legs, like Bellica's root bone. So you'll see that this skeleton from Mixamo does not have a root bone. If we go back to the Bellica skeleton and click on pelvis, that is right here at her hips. That is the same bone as the Mixamo's hips bone. So there are some name discrepancies. So this is something we have to take into account when assigning that humanoid rig to the Mixamo skeleton asset. I'm going to go ahead and dock Bellica's skeleton back up to the editor and I'll do the same with the crouching skeleton as well. Now with the crouching turn 90 right skeleton selected and open, we're going to click retarget manager and right here in the setup rig section, we need to select the target bones on the Mixamo skeleton that correspond to the bones on the humanoid rig. Now, as we saw, this Mixamo skeleton doesn't have a root bone. So we're gonna have to leave this as none for the root bone. And we're gonna find that not all skeletons have all of the same bones. So for the bones that are missing here, we can just leave those as none. Now we saw that the pelvis bone on Bellica corresponds to the hips bone on the Mixamo skeleton. Now, ordinarily, you would have to go through and look at each individual bone and see its location 
on the Miximo skeleton and compare it with that bone's location on Bellica's skeleton so that you know which bone corresponds to which bone on the humanoid rig. Well, luckily, that work has already been done for you, so I'm going to tell you which bones on Miximo's skeleton correspond to which bones on the Unreal Engine humanoid rig. So we saw that for pelvis, Miximo's bone is hips. For spine 01, the Miximo bone is called spine. For spine 02, the Miximo bone is called spine 1. For spine 03, the Miximo bone is called spine 2. For clavicle L, it's going to be left shoulder. For upper arm L, it's going to be left arm. Scrolling down, we have lower arm L, that's going to be left forearm. Hand L is going to be left hand. Clavicle R is going to be right shoulder. Upper arm R is going to be right arm. Lower arm R is going to be right forearm. And hand R is going to be right hand. Scrolling down, we have neck 01, that's going to be neck. Some of the Miximo skeletons call it neck 1. For head, the Miximo skeleton bone is called head, or in this case, head top end. For thigh L, it's going to be called left up leg. We'll need to scroll all the way down, and there's left up leg. For calf L, it's going to be left leg. Scrolling down, there's left leg. For foot L, it's going to be left foot. Thigh R is going to be right up leg. Calf R is going to be right leg. And foot R is going to be right foot. Now, you may have noticed that this is not all of the bones. There are lots of other bones, such as all of the fingers. Now, there's two modes here. One is the base, which is what we're in. That shows the base bones. And then if you click here on Show Advanced, then you can see all of the little bones, such as the fingers and so on. We'll go ahead and set up these as well. For index 01L, it's going to be left hand index 1. For index 02L, it'll be left hand index 2. Index 03L is left hand index 3. And you'll notice Miximo has a left hand index 4, but the humanoid rig does not. So in the case where the skeleton has more bones than the humanoid rig, we have to just ignore that bone. But that's okay, it shouldn't affect the animation much. Next we have middle 01L, that's going to be left hand middle 1. Middle 02L is left hand middle 2. Middle 03L is left hand middle 3. Next we have the pinky. Pinky 01L is left hand pinky 1. Pinky 02L is left hand pinky 2, and pinky 03L is left hand pinky 3. Next we have the ring finger. Ring 01L is left hand ring 1. Ring 02L is left hand ring 2, and ring 03L is left hand ring 3. Next we have the thumb. Thumb 01L is left hand thumb 1. Thumb 02L is left hand thumb 2, and thumb 03L is left hand thumb 3. Now there's a lower arm twist 01L. That's going to be the left hand bone. Upper arm twist 01L is going to be left arm. Now we have the right hand. Index 01R is right hand index 1. Index 02R is right hand index 2. Index 03R is right hand index 3. Now the middle finger. Middle 01R is right hand middle 1. Middle 02R is right hand middle 2. And middle 03R is right hand middle 3. Next we have the pinky. Pinky 01R is right hand pinky 1. Pinky 02R is right hand pinky 2. And pinky 03R is right hand pinky 3. Now the ring finger. Ring 01R is right hand ring 1. Ring 02R is right hand ring 2 and ring 03R is right hand ring 3. Next we have the thumb. Thumb 01R is right hand thumb 1. Thumb 02R is right hand thumb 2. And thumb 03R is right hand thumb 3. Next we have lower arm twist 01R. That's going to be the right hand. 
upper arm twist 01R is going to be right arm. Now, for calf twist 01L, there's no bone on the mixamo that corresponds to that, so we're going to leave that as a none. Ball L is going to be left toe base. Here it is down at the bottom. Thigh twist 01L is going to be left up leg. Calf twist 01R is going to be none. Ball R is going to be right toe base. And thigh twist 01R is going to be right up leg. Now you'll see some IK bones. Go ahead and ignore those as well as the custom bones. Uh, we don't need to worry about those. So this will complete our setup of mapping the bones in the Mixamo skeleton to the humanoid rig. Go ahead and click save. Now the next thing we need to do is make sure that the pose matches Bellica's pose before we retarget. So again, I'm going to undock this tab and I'm going to undock the Bellica skeleton tab and I'm going to make these a little bit bigger so we can see them side by side. And you'll see that the Bellica skeleton is in more of an A pose, whereas the Mixamo skeleton is in more of a T pose. We need to make this Mixamo skeleton match Bellica's skeleton. So if we click on view pose down here at the bottom, this is showing us the pose assigned to the skeleton. Let's click on skeleton tree, and now we can modify this so it looks more like Bellica. I'm gonna go ahead and click on left arm, and with snapping on, I'm going to bring it down and count the number of times it snaps. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six times. Now I'm going to go to the right arm and bring this down, and I'll, I'll bring it down the same number of snaps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that looks approximately the same as the Bellica's pose. And so that will do just fine. Now I'm going to bring this back up to full screen and click on retarget manager. And to save this pose, I'm going to click down here on modify pose and click on use current pose. Now this A pose will be used for this skeleton. Now the last thing we need to do before retargeting this is up here by the details panel, you'll see preview scene settings. We'll drag this out and you'll see under mesh, we have preview mesh, and it's got this crouching turn 90 right mesh. That's the mesh that was downloaded with this skeleton when we imported the FBX. We need to click apply to asset. So now this asset has a preview mesh assigned to it. Now we can click save and close out of this skeleton. We can close out of the Bellica skeleton, and now we're ready to retarget the animations. So let's scroll back up and go into animations to retarget. And let's go ahead and retarget these animations. We'll start with crouching turn 90 right. Right click, retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets and retarget. And we can select Bellica skeleton. And now you'll see the two skeletons. Now it looks like the pose might be a little bit off. So we might want to go back and modify that base pose again. I'm going to go ahead and close this and do that real quick. Let's go to Mixamo character, crouching turn 90 right skeleton. And in retarget manager, click on view pose. And now we can see the pose. I'm going to click on skeleton tree and left arm. I'm going to bring it up by one grid snap. And then I'll go down to right arm and bring this one up by one grid snap as well. Then in retarget manager, click on modify pose and use current pose and save. Now I'm going to close that and I'm going to try to retarget this again. So back in animations to retarget, crouching turn 90 right, right click, retarget, duplicate and retarget, click on Bellica skeleton and now they look a little bit better. Let's click on retarget. And now we've got a retargeted animation for crouch turning right. It's stuck here in the content folder. Let's double click to look at it. And there it is. Now I'm going to hold alt and left click to drag and look around. I'm going to right click and drag down to zoom in and take a look at how she looks. Let's go ahead and pause the animation and scroll through and make sure that she looks okay. 
Now, for the most part, she looks okay. Now, sometimes you'll get a little bit of wonkiness in the arms or maybe even the fingers. Now, we'll see that the arms are a little bit too wide. That's something that we can fix, of course, but overall, she looks okay. Sometimes you'll get warping, which we don't really see in this case, but if you see warping in your case, the way to fix that would be to go up here in the skeleton tree, click on the drop down for options and click show retargeting options. And then you would take the root bone, right click and choose recursively set translation retargeting to skeleton. Now you'll see that she gets bumped up a little bit. We'll take the pelvis bone and right here next to the pelvis bone on the drop down, we'll choose animation scaled and you'll see that she gets stuck back down towards the ground. Now, it's okay if all these bones below the pelvis follow the skeleton, but we do want the root bone to follow the animation. So for root, click the drop down and choose animation. And that would take care of any warping of the mesh that looks a little wrong. Okay, so we've got our retargeted turn in place. Let's go ahead and close that and drag this into character slash animation slash crouching. And we'll click move here. Now we'll go back to animations to retarget and we'll do the left one. So right click, retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets and retarget and choose Bellica and retarget. And here we have our crouching turn 90 left, double click on it. And here is our animation. Okay, so now we have our turn left animation. Close it and move it into the crouching folder and now we have our crouching turn 90 left and crouching turn 90 right animations. So now we've retargeted animations that have a different skeletal structure in their skeleton than Bellica. So go ahead and click save all, save everything. And before we wrap this up, let's go ahead and double click our crouching turn 90 left. I'm going to hit pause and scroll all the way to the beginning of the animation. Now I'm seeing that the arms are a little bit too wide. So I'm gonna edit this here in the Unreal Engine editor. So I'm gonna take the right upper arm, it's called upper arm R, and I'm gonna rotate it in a little bit. I'll turn off snapping for this, and I'll rotate it inward just a bit. And I'll take the lower arm R and rotate it up just a bit. So it's pointing the gun forward. Now I'll take the left arm, upper arm L, move this a little. And the lower arm L, Move this up a bit. So I'm basically just adjusting it like we've done with our other animations. There we go. That looks just about right. So that's approximately good. Now I'm gonna click on key to add a new key and I'll slowly just scrub through this animation and see what it looks like as she's turning. And it's approximately staying in the right location, so I think that's good. And once we do hand IK or inverse kinematics, we'll learn how to keep this hand planted at the right spot. So don't worry if it's not exactly correct. Okay, perfect. We'll save this and I'll go back and open crouching turn 90 right. I'll click pause, scrub to the beginning, and I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And I'm just gonna adjust this like I did the other one. So I'm gonna to go to the right upper arm, upper arm R, and I'm gonna just bring it in a bit like this. I'll choose lower arm R, rotate the gun a little bit. And then I'll go to the left arm We'll go to upper arm L and I'll move it down a bit. I'm 
We'll move it out a little ways. And take the lower arm L and bring that hand up. Rotate it a little bit. Till it looks approximately correct. So I think that looks okay. I'll go ahead and add a key for that. And I'll scrub through and make sure it looks okay. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And now we have our crouching turn 90 left and right animations. In the next video, we'll go ahead and incorporate these into the animation blueprint so that she can turn in place. See you in the next video.